word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devon and I'm here with Emma. Hi. I'm here with CJ. Hello. And I'm here with Alex. Ahoy. Oh. <laughs> Ahoy. I know what you're getting at. I know what you're getting at. We'll uh, get to uh, it. <laughs> you're uh, going to rip ma- off Ahoy. No, introduce me, introduce me. And sat opposite me in a different room is Devin. Konnichiwa. Oh. Ooh, I was going to say your you. introductions You're are right. getting a lot more like radio-y, like radio voice dev. Radio voice RV, dev. Yeah. RVD's coming out. RVD? I like it's RVD. It's sound very, it's starting to sound like you should be saying, and now playing on Today FM is the Cranberries. <laughs> the Cranberries? <laughs> When's the last time you listened to the it radio? The only, <laughs> no, it could be on Sweet <laughs> Smooth only, FM. That was the only thing off my head. <laughs> You know what? In my old age, yeah, I, I um, like I quite like a bit of Smooth FM. I love Smooth FM, especially like when you're working. Smooth FM's a good like. I tell you why. Station Can I tell you why? When you're working, it's a psychological thing, mm-hmm. and it brings you back to a time where everything was simple. Because right. it was your childhood. Ooh. You were listening to it when your kid, your parents were playing in the radio, mm. and you were carefree. You had no troubles. It was easy. Mm. And when you listen to it, it's like a trigger of being p- at peace. Nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Ah, uh, mm. makes sense. Yeah. I was I was going to ask why why the radio instead of just like your own playlist. No, I quite like but the radio. The uh, the ambiance is different with the radio. So, but only for work environments. It's like the guy. Uh, it's like the people on the radio get you when a radio say when you resonate with a radio station. You're like, this guy really gets me. And they have those they, they, they darn competitions which really pull you in, like the Robbie Williams one at the moment when 50k guess and it's like. I can't believe I saw a on a bus, and you have to guess what he saw, and it can take like a whole month what did or he more. Say? I don't know. You have to guess. You have to call in and say uh-huh. um, is, is, whatever you think. It, so it's, if it's Robbie Williams, it could be anything. <laughs> and then if you get See, it right, you get fifty k. But like, it can take literally six weeks, couple months for like to get it. Mm. So can I just say I love the idea that um, Emma spent much of her youth. Hitting that pause, stop record to make sure that she didn't yeah. have to listen to the radio and listen to her own music. And now we live in a world where she can listen to anything she wants and she chooses the radio. <laughs> I mean, I, I use my playlist in the car. <laughs> the circle of Emma. Circle, and if I'm going for a radio, walk, mate. I'll use my playlist. <laughs> but on a Sunday, I think it's a Sunday specifically, quite like the old radio. Yeah. Mm. Mm. There's something about that soothing. Mm. Mm. I found some really good um, jams today, like old school. Can I just give you a little three-second intro? Oh, my gosh. Go for it. So this one, I was um, driving through Guzman y Gomez, Mexican um, restaurant, and this started to play, and I was like, this is a (laughs) old school fave. Ready? See if you see if you recognize it. It sounds Ooh, like nothing. My phone's to me. on silent. Mm. It sounds like this. Like, you know that song on um Pootie Tang? The song of silence? That's what it sounds like. Is this Gloria Estefan? No. Oh. Remember? Anyone? If only I could speak Spanish. Okay. Okay. Do you remember? I, 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 no, I'm not Spanish. <laughs> what about you, Zans? I, I barely where, speak English. I grew up listening. Where would I remember it from? Well, I don't know, but I've, I know that song from my childhood. Is that... Um, How do you, you say you grew up listening to that? Like, like what do you I, mean I, I you don't, grew up listening I, I don't to know. That? I know, like... Every beat, every single lick I can hit. I just can't speak the language, so I have to... Is it Enrique? No, it's Juan Enrique. Luis Guerra. Juan, it's Juan Tanamera. Juan <laughs> Luis Guerra, and it's La Travesia. And no then Juan Tanamera. I found uh, this uh, one. Juan. Okay. 
You know, so this, this one? one's used on. This is on like adverts and stuff. I feel like this one was on World Cup for soccer. Tequila. Yeah. Not tequila. <laughs> we can't play it. You keep playing. We can't play that. So that was um, my two finds for today. That was the World Cup. You're right. That was the World Cup. World Cup, right? Yes. Yes. Brazil. Mm. Brazil. Mm. Talking about Brazil. Mm. What's our first article? Brazil. Okay, talking about Brazil, what's our first article? How does that make sense? Well, our first article well, is about Japan. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, talking about Brazil. Dev was rushing me what's along. What's our first article? <laughs> Japan. Okay, this is, uh, is going to. This is a bit tweet. crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, Japan is like a land of uh, weird and wonderful Japanese people. Crazes, I guess. Um, fads you saying Not fads fad? I mean like They're just different aren't they Japanese culture Very different Yes um, They're Pop culture Anime All that Steeped in history Right So it, This extends To their ice cream mm. Mm, Ice cream They Have a really weird list Of ice cream flavours And I'm going to tell you What they are can I can I just put a preface to this, right? Mm. The reason why I started delving into this article is um, one of the guys from Top Gear got me on this. James May. Yep, that's good because you were there watching it with me. <laughs> I was going to lead Wait, on to the I? other guys. <laughs> was I? Yeah, you were. What Anyways, I? continue with your article since you ruined it. What did I ruin? Nothing. My whole my whole thing. My my stick. I was gonna do a stick, but like, oh. but you, you stick it. blocked him. Yeah. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're right. We'll continue on. I'm yeah. rolling with the punches. Yam semaj. You have a stick blocker. <laughs> yam semaj. What's a yam semaj? I took it back backwards. James May backwards. <laughs> that was quick. Yam semaj. That was good. That was that good. Was quick. It sounds nice. like a bad, bad, yam bad semaj. season. Of potato, potato chips. I played in a when I was in Iceland. One of the he was he was an American player, but I guess he had like Icelandic relatives. So he was playing in Iceland, and his name was Samaj. <laughs> Samaj. That's actually a nice name, Samaj. That's our son's middle name. <laughs> oh, what is it? Well, James is. Oh, the backwards is Samaj. I am so confused with what the hell is going on at the moment. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> I was going to say, like, do you, do you have, did you have another son yeah. in the North? I was just so confused. I was like, Samaj? Like, what? what? Did, you, did you change it on the birth certificate when I turned around? You go, I like this name, James. Ha <laughs> ha, Samaj. <laughs> I, Your face I was got so him confused. now. He would never know. Until we create a podcast and I'll release the information. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Until then, he will never know. You know when you cough too hard and then you it tickles. So I mean, laugh too hard. Hit me. Uh, so, hit me one of these flavors. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm excited. Actually, can you guys guess one? Just one guess each, apart from you, because you know. Soy. So CJ. I kind of read and- them. So. <gasps> oh, wasabi. Yes, CJ. Okay, well done. So the other flavors are squid ink. That's and right. It's black. That tastes like nothing. It tastes like squid. You just, you just turn away from the mic so you could breathe. Tastes like fishy. Yeah. It's really fishy. And it's black. Yeah. Another one is the wasabi one. Wasabi. Another one is yes. The wasabi one's a trick. It's a trick ice cream because you're thinking it's gonna be cool, refreshing. Yeah, and then you eat it, and it's like, oh, that's hot. And then you're thinking what? in your brain, should I have more ice cream to cool my wasabi down? You have another bite of the wasabi ice cream, but it then it heats your tongue up even more. Wait, wasn't it Mater? It's like it's, it, it's like obesity. Mater you in eat cars because you're depressed, and you're depressed because you eat. Yes. Yes. But, That's would the wasabi it, ice cream. Would it be sp- like I'm trying to wrap my head around because it is cold because it's ice. It's ice cream. Like, how would that impact the spice? I think it would still because if you had chili chocolate, it's, that impacts it. Yeah, you know, it's still chilly when you eat. That's not. That's not cold. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. cold is a cold is a sensation in of itself. This is true. I don't know. Would it like? So would it create like a it. new you form get, you of get brain spice? freeze and heat freeze at the same time. But it's not even the oh. with wasabi. It's not even the the spice. It's the flavor. It's just a bit meh. The flavor of what wasabi? Yeah. What's the flavor of wasabi? I can't describe it. It's just wasabi flavor. I I can't yeah. describe it. Huh. But I'm not a massive fan of it. 
I like wasabi. I don't mind it, but that, <laughs> yeah. that flavor. You change your tone. No, I'm not a massive fan, but I don't mind it. Yes. Uh, next one, fermented soybeans. Are you all right again, Siege? What do you, you mean? You've been to Japan. No. What did he say? Fermented soybeans? I oh, said soy. Soy ice cream. I think he was thinking soya sauce. That's different to soybeans. Did, were you saying soy sauce? Isn't soy sauce made from soybeans? Mm, this is interesting. Jesus. Because soybeans are <laughs> but soybeans are white, aren't they? But like isn't soy sauce made from soybeans? Isn't that why they call it soy? Maybe. You could possibly be right. Was Dev's looking up that? Another flavour they have of ice cream is octopus. Chicken yeah. wings. Uh, Japanese people like love seafood. So that's understandable. Raw horse meat. Raw horse meat. And it has like bits of meat in it still. Raw. Yeah, it is soybeans. Wheat and salt. Yeah. Seaweed. Yeah, it'd be cool. Miso. I mean, I love, I love me some miso. Miso will be all right. Miso soup is delicious. All these things are quite nice, right? But if you have them in ice cream, is it still nice? Yeah, but most likely if you like them in heat, you should like them in cold. Yeah. The next one is python. Ex no, wait, wait. I'm not going to accept that. CJ, explain that to me. Okay, if you like a, a miso soup, right? Yeah. You like the taste of miso. Yeah. The flavor of miso. Yeah. So all you're doing is getting rid of the heat and putting it in cold. That changes the dynamics but it's, all... It, it'll that still be the same flavor. Yeah, but that changes everything. And texture's different. Does it? Does it? It's, it's, yeah, it's like... Flavor. <clears throat> But see, do you know when you have a dinner and you, you have your dinner and it's nice and hot and then it cools down and it gets less nice and then it's cold <laughs> and then it's disgusting? <laughs> no? Does that not happen to you? Yeah, you're like, oh, this needs heating up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, I, uh, dude, I just eat it, man. Because, you know, you know. all right, so like Vegemite, I like Vegemite. I don't like Vegemite. Vegemite's crap. Yeah. Or Marmite. Terrible. Marmite's a bit the, the, the dulled down it's version. But I like crap. Vegemite, right? But I don't like Vegemite chips. It's just too much on the on the chip. Mm. You know what I mean? Ooh, so I, like twi like are we talking like Twiglets here? Because yeah, I love twiglets. a Twiglet. Yeah, Twiglets. What's a Twiglet? Marmite flavored. Yeah, so that was too much for me. The Twiglets were too much. Yeah. It's just like, blah. But I could have heaps of my, uh, Vegemite on toast. Do you spread it thick or thin? Thick. Ew. Laid on thick. That's fascinating. Because mm. I feel like the... Twiglets, I don't know if they're the same as the Vegemite ones. Emma, you'd be the uh, barometer for that. But Twiglets, to me, are less marmite -y than like a spread of Marmite. Mm, I've been craving Vegemite recently. Just mm. that salt. Oh, fresh toast straight as soon as it pops up. Butter straight on there so it melts straight away. Yeah. Vegemite Ooh. has to be like hot. I've been having the best snack for the mm. past couple of days, and that is a cinnamon raisin bagel. Oh. Cut, toasted, bud. Oh, yum. It's amazing. Yum, yum, yum. You Ooh, can, that sounds you can delish. tell you can tell the white collar workers here. I don't have time <laughs> for that kind of stuff. <laughs> I've been having like those um you know those, those little English muffins? Ooh, oh yum. my yes, gosh, he's yep, another yep, white collar yep. bloke. <laughs> with hot with with melted butter oh. and jam. <laughs> go go, go to my kitchenette these. and have some muffins. <laughs> come on, what? come on, blue collar. Give us, give us yours then. Meat pie and sauce. Uh, I had a meat pie and a sausage roll. <laughs> and, I, I, didn't, I didn't even wash my hands and, to eat and it. And a can of VB. <laughs> what's what's uh, the other color? I had some, ba I had some baked beans, right? And I started a little fire outside the van <laughs> to heat up the can. <laughs> All right. And it, it was awesome. You bloody sissies and you and your English muffins and cheese. <laughs> Be like me, a manly man. <laughs> manly man. And Those man my are tricky because they can For the uninitiated, scorch. how? So for the uninitiated, how uh, accurate is that? Is that a real accent in Australia? No. 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 <laughs> oh. I don't know Damn. what accent that was from CJ. <laughs> it was a mix. <laughs> I like it though. I like it. It's a tradie voice. Do it's a tra good. do a tradie voice. Hi, my name's <laughs> Dev. Dev can Hi. do a lot of different accents. Do your normal tradie Hi. talk. My name's er Ernesto. <laughs> I'm here to fix your lights, love. <laughs> I've come to day one the on the job. <laughs> and we will take a short break from our podcast so that Alex can give us some important information. 
What up, what up, what up, what up? We are back on the B-Side Word and we have an announcement for you. We would just like for you to give us a bit of attention. That's right, we want you to get onto Instagram, onto Twitter, onto Facebook and follow us at the B-Side Word. And if you're feeling really, really good, you can leave us a comment, even a like, maybe subscribe to the channel, or even rate us, review us on your favorite podcast listening app. Anyway, back to the episode. Dev? And back to the podcast. I, I know I know how to turn the lights on. Oh. I turn everything on. <laughs> um, Can I try? What? All righty then. Let's go to you our job like... today. <laughs> you, you sound like your yubbo. <laughs> what? Alrighty then. You know, it's actually you actually <laughs> don't talk like that. Like the the trade is now. Don't talk like that. What do they talk like? It's they talk like um, anyone else. Because, like, uh, English, uh, the up-and-coming tradesmen and now are, like, the millennials now. <laughs> the the apprentices that become tradesmen, they oh, they don't talk I mean, like... What? Dev, I'm, I'm, oh, or, or no, tradesmen. Are they trying to cancel you? <laughs> hey? Aren't you, aren't you technically... I'm a millennial. You're a tradesman, right? Yeah, I know, but, like, I grew up with... I, I think I was the last of growing up and influenced by the old-school tradesmen. And then once they started phasing out, I didn't carry on the old school way. They, they all got phased. No initiations. No, no, there was no initiations. There was no, there was no like, there's none. There's none of the hazing that was, that was there That's before. good. Because a you know lot why? of tradies were taking because their they lives. Because cr- they'll cry like little bitches. Well, I mean, <laughs> I said it, I, I, yeah. <laughs> So, another ice cream flavour, <laughs> beef tongue. Beef tongue? Beef but tongue. in ice cream. I mean, they do cook that on cooking that shows. Doesn't sound, that doesn't sound nice. Not in ice cream. On MasterChef, they it's, like to cook it. It's actually really, really nice. Oh, I've no, never tasted maybe it. beef cheeks. I've never them. actually tasted okay, it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so, so, so it's like that boxing match that you saw. Yeah. And you called me up yeah. to discuss it with me. And then you, you you critiqued my judging of the fight, right? Yeah. And then to find out you actually did not watch it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dev's so proud. Yeah. He's Brilliant. like, yeah, that happened. So, it's like, so, so, so it's like that. It's something like, you've never so, tasted, but it's CJ really was nice. like, uh, CJ was getting a bit upset because I was like, nah, nah, I saw Lomo. I think Lomo um, won at least five, five out of the 12 or maybe even six out of the 12. should have been split decision. He goes, no effing way. <laughs> I was like, like, nah, man, it was close, it was close. And he goes, did you watch the fight? I go, nah, nah, watch the highlights. (laughs) (laughs) That's just as good, no? Nah, it's not, it's not. Anyways, I wanted to, um, I've never, I've never wanted to experience a culture or visit a place Mm. as much, I never wanted to do that until I saw Japan. Okay. And because Japan is so it's like it's got the modern modern day japan in tokyo and all that but it's still got the old school really embrace the culture um even through like it was just weird even like having four seasons at once like at the top end there's like got the snow and at the bottom end it's just it's just it's just really i really want to know the culture in japan my question is is there a country that you want to be immersive in their culture that you want to go there? You could live there and want to embrace and like sort of become a pseudo of that of that place. Mm. If that's a word, is that pseudo? I if I use like, pseudo, right? I feel like uh, I did like as an like okay. So I'd want to say the Caribbean islands. However, I'm scared of loads of bugs, so I kind of don't want to. Mm. But I do want okay. to. Okay. Mm. If you if you're scared of stuff there, you can't choose that place. I know, I know. Because you can never live there. Mm. So it has to be somewhere I, Emma, you actually Emma lives, can live. Emma lives in Australia. Can we just I throw know. that one out there? Yeah. Like, yes, but I regret. I feel that. like if you can live what? there, you can live anywhere. <laughs> I don't blame you for regretting it. Look what Australia's like done if, to you. If if you were, if I never if I didn't meet you, I probably wouldn't be here. Well, I know I wouldn't be here. Well, yeah. And it's not. It, it's and it only comes down to two things: hmm. the bugs mm. and the heat. And the heat. Yeah. 
So you'd just be across the ocean in New I'd Zealand. I'd go to Nui or yeah. Canada. That's totally... Well, Canada's nice. Yeah. How do you know? I've been to Canada. How many times? About two. I don't know why I called it About Nui because don't, we don't call it Nui. No, that's you, Newcastle. You, you Newcastle's Nui. Yeah, NZ. And by the Canada. way, one minute warning. Mm. Um, what about well, you? It meant to be a few minutes ago. So you, yours is Japan. Japan, just because like I watched a, a mini doco with James May and the way that he went, he started from the north, the north part of Japan and he's working his way down and just to see how much there is in Japan and the variety and the people are allowed to express themselves and yeah, like, I don't know, there just seems a lot happening with ha- without having the multi- multiculturalism, if that makes sense. So it, it's diverse within one culture, which is interesting. I'm does very, that make sense? Yeah, I know, I know. You, yeah, I does. know what you're getting at. Yeah, I know what you're which getting. is which before is interesting. You, uh, like, so before you leave Japan as well, I've, I, I've just sent you something because this just talking about these, like you're saying, this the lack of multiculturalism, but the variety in the way they do things. Recently, I came across this thread of Japan during Halloween and how they dress for Halloween. Which is pretty yeah. unique. It's just opening. I actually want to go to Japan for Comic Con. I reckon that'd be fun. So what they do what is they dress up for Halloween. They dress up as like everyday people. In mundane situations. Yeah. Oh, this one is a person who refused a bag, but their item ended up not fitting in their purse. <laughs> oh, that's their that's their costume. That's the costume. <laughs> so you have to explain what you are, I guess, to people. There's like a whole thread of oh. them. A, a part timer who <laughs> okay. showed up to work after a wedding. What? Like what? This is what I mean. Like this, uh, this is so fascinating. Like how did how did they come up with this? Why is this a thing? What? <laughs> wow. First aid dummy at a diving school. Yeah, but they are a bit different because you know Christmas Day, don't they eat KFC? Like that's no, it. that's yeah. 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 Is that, yeah. Is that I think it was Japan. No, yeah. but that's like their go-to. Like nearly every. That's like what you know. We would have a roast Christmas dinner. Their Christmas dinner is KFC. Okay, okay. So? I'm gonna like for instance, right? For instance, one of the things that intrigues me because that it's totally opposite to the culture here. If you have a boss, if you're an employee in Japan. If the boss berates you, you have to still be respectful and polite to that person and bow and not show any emotions. You can't be upset. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the whole respect thing, right? Outside of work, mm-hmm. after, 20, uh, after eight beers, they can, they can say whatever they want, right? They let loose that way. But in work, there's a hierarchy, mm-hmm. which, is, which is in, it's in here. It happens in like Australia as well. But like, if you don't like what a boss says... You can tell him to like you lose your job, but you can also you can tell him to f off. It's not like that in Japan. Like I don't know, it's just these cultural differences that just I don't know. It intrigues me what's Japan happening over there. Japan splits me because one side of it, I'm, I I agree with, and it would be really cool. And I can't, I do want to go, but the stuff they do that I don't like, for example, they're wa- like what? whaling to be specific, and also overfishing. Um, and, and, you know, you just have to go to their fish markets and they're catching, like, very... They're catching fish that are very... That are basically endangered, di- endangered or dying out because mm. of overfishing still. And obviously because seafood's a huge part, part of their culture. And I do not like that at all. Mm. Um, and then also the suicide rate in Japan is one of the high. highest in the world. It's high. That, that's so, the other thing. Like, and you've seen them that, say they even have a word for it, as in you, they only show the outer face to the tourists. Yeah. But that's not their real. That's why I want to like. I want to see. The, they the, they the, have the... a word for it, but I forget what it's what they mm. call it. So but it's not. They're slightly oppressive, aren't they? As a, as a as a country, like I remember reading about when they started implementing weighing their employees at work. Um, right. Like you can, and then they'll like measure their waistline and stuff. Like it's there's a lot of fascinating things about their culture. Yeah, but also a lot of 
scary things about them. Yeah. Mm. Yes. You know, he's saying that, you know, when Alexander says that, right, their anime, I feel like, shows their internal struggles. Mm. I think that's where they express what the um, the culture, how the culture feels through... Uh, what's their language? What, how do they write? They're called um, Konja? What's their know. lettering? I, I forget um, their language. Not familiar. Um, Medieval. But uh, anyways, one of the guides said that Japan, and he said this heaps of times, Japan is a country of conformity. Mm-hmm. Which I find interesting. Name? <laughs> no, it starts with C. Mm. I don't know. I'm just very intrigued with um with Japan. Just very, like they they're industrial, and they just kanji. Kanji, kanji. They have three types of script: one's kanji, one's hiragana, and one's katakana. Yeah. Pause the podcast. Okay, if you are listening on your phone, pick it up right now. Go onto your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, get us at the B-Side Word. And did you know that we actually record these with video as well? You can find us on YouTube, again, at the B-Side Word. And we would love it if you were subscribe. Uh, subs- uh, I can't even speak. A subscribe. Uh, yeah, there we that's go. The and remix. if you want, you can leave us some comments. We love to engage. And you know what? Let me ask you this. If you do follow us on any of these already, what is it you would like to see from us? Leave us some comments. Let us know. Oh, what, he said. what he said. What he said. Subscribe. I can't say the word for some reason. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Unpause the podcast. So I came across this on Twitter. And look, I'm, I'm going to throw out there. I don't know how true this is. I don't really care. Um, I'm more intrigued on your thoughts on the follow question. So it says... Alexander Graham Bell. Are we all familiar with Alexander Graham Bell? Yes. 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 Okay. And are we all familiar with Thomas Edison as well? Yes. 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 Like familiar, I, Edison, I know his name. Kai, he's the kite guy, isn't he? What? Thomas Edison is um, light, lots of inventions, but I think the most light known bulb. is light bulb. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he, but didn't he have the kite? No, that was um, electricity. Or was that? Wasn't that a, a uh, Franklin? I thought it was something. the kite guy. That's Franklin. Yeah, it's Franklin. Oh, that sounds Franklin. familiar. Franklin. Um, are you just are you just saying Franklin because you just like you know? Want to argue with me? <laughs> <laughs> so Alexander Graham Bell suggested the kite the, guy, the, the telephone Franklin. guy. Yeah. So for the uninitiated who may be listening, Alexander Graham Bell was the person who invented the telephone um, and Thomas Edison was an inventor around the same time who invented a lot of other things. And this tweet suggests, Alexander Graham Bell suggested that telephones should be answered with the word, Ahoy! Yeah. And hello, <laughs> hello was Thomas Edison's suggestion. So regardless of the truthfulness of that, I'm intrigued to know if you could take Light-hearted answers. If you could take one social norm and completely change it, what would it be and what would you change it to? Felt like I was a bit on blind date with that one. <laughs> okay, yeah. Scylla. Like Come you. on, Emma, do your entrance. <laughs> do the entrance. Oh. Uh. And, <laughs> and uh, uh, welcome to tonight's show. And this is your host, Miss Scylla. <laughs> Oh no, this is Blind Date. (laughs) Do you remember how he used to say it like that? (laughs) Blind. Yes. What's the first question? What was the question? So if you could take a social norm. Yeah, I heard the first question. I heard the first question, right? And I was like, what Emma's doing has nothing to do with the question. <laughs> What's going on? What did it was, I do? It no, it was the way I asked the question because on Blind Date, they'd always go, if you could be any flavor ice cream, what flavor would you be and why? <laughs> <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you meant you, you were on a blind date. And it's the kind of question you would ask. I was like, God, you're, 
You, your dates must not be that exciting, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sage. <laughs> okay, ahoy and hello. Which one? <laughs> so it's a imagine, thinking question. Imagine Thomas Edison never, never went against what Alexander Graham Bell said. So we would all, you know, we'd all and say, "Ahoy." I'm on the podcast with Emma. Ahoy, CJ. Ahoy, <laughs> Alex. Ahoy. Yeah. Like it would be a completely different tone. So, Ooh. and it wouldn't even I'm be intrigued. hi; it'd be ho. Now, to ho. be honest with you, <laughs> I reckon I reckon ahoy ah. would have been better. Ahoy is like a happy thing. Ahoy, my hearties. Yeah. I think... Ahoy. Ho. It'll be like, ho. Will it... Ho. Ho. It'll be oi. Ho. Ho. Ahoy. No, but like... See, ahoy. Like, hello. Say, it makes you smile. Hello. Got, ahoy. Got, got short. Ah. 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 What? Ah. Ahoy. Ah. Ah. Ahoy. Not ah. Not ah. ahoy. Ah. Ahoy. It'll be like that. Ah. 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 Stay in the life. Stay in the life. Stay in the life. Ah. <laughs> Staying alive. So, so I'm gonna kick it off. With, I'm gonna kick it off with we, one. Would we change? So I'm gonna give you a bit of time to think. I'm gonna kick it off with handshakes. Mm-hmm. So instead of handshakes, whoever came up with those, it'd no, it'd be it'd be a boop on the nose. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the sign of respect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I feel like no touching is better. No touching. <sighs> yeah. I'm I'm going for I think entertainment. It's, yeah. It has to be touching. It has to be touching because we're all human. Like humans have to have that human touch. Why? It's just in our. Stop touching me, you scumbag! It's, just, it's in our. It's, it's a big part. Big part of being a human, isn't it? Yeah. Like they say, that's one of the big things about the pandemic is people have lost human contact. Yeah, it's a big, big. Thing. I like it. Or you could like turn like around it. and then put both of your feet up that touch each other, the bottom, the soles of your feet. How coordinated <laughs> are you when you jump? Not jumping. Yeah. What do you mean donkey <laughs> kick? Are you talking a donkey kick? Is that what you're saying? Okay, Emma, f- first of all, if I'm jumping, oh, maybe. let me be very honest but with you. Not I am not getting much height. No one said jump. You turn you around. Said, you said touch gra- both of your feet, the bottom of both feet of your feet. Together. Yeah. Are you sitting down while you're... What is happening? I was going to say, like, if I'm jumping, I'm not getting that much height. I don't think I can get, get b- both feet to touch. I don't know. Mean, without falling no, over. I just myself. mean one of each person's foot. So you're like, uh, turn around. Oh, the collective your, both of your <laughs> yeah. feet. Are you talking about, like... <laughs> are you talking about, like... Remember the kid? The rubber, kid, the kid? kid? Oh. I can't like I was going to the film House Party. Kid house play. Party, yeah, yeah. yeah, and they do the they do that kick uh, kick yeah. feet kick feet thing. The dance, they kick each other. Yeah, <laughs> and then they hop around. Oh, they hop around. Yeah, is that like your hello? <laughs> Me and my teammate used to do that freshman year of uni. Really? How yeah. old were you when you watched that? You would have been very young. Teens. Teens. First, first time I saw yeah, it. You wouldn't- I didn't watch when it you came out. That, that's, so. not no, appropriate. No. No. that's not appropriate for you to watch at that age. Why not? Go to your room. You're grounded. <laughs> you should be watching that kind of movie. What would I... What <laughs> social norm would I change? What social norm? What a you'd have to re- You'd have to reinvent the wheel or solve any problems. Like, but just... No, I know, I'm just thinking what annoys me and why... And I, I'd want to change that in the social norms. You would want to have to not say hi to people as a polite thing yeah, to do. Yeah, that'd be cool. What? You'd be like, because in... T- I'm a social butterfly. In- I love talking to everybody. Oh, okay. Podcast says different. <laughs> Computer says yeah. no. I thought, I thought you were more of a okay, piranha. Podcast dev. Anyone that comes, anyone else talk to you just want to stink. You've uh, <laughs> you've you've come on here and told us about how you don't like doing that, Dev. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> even even I remember it. I would. CJ, do do you have anything you'd change? I w- I, I would make it socially. You can't tell a person if he's got fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not supposed so the to change? really nowadays. What, what? 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 They're not really <laughs> supposed to nowadays, anyway. 
Yeah, like you know, other people are like, dude, have you put on weight? Like that, like like that, that caring shit. Like they care about your weight. I don't care. Don't talk to me about it. I'm I'm living I'm living in ignorance and bliss. Don't bring it up. I so I think you're going in a slightly different direction. I think you're going in a slightly different direction to the question. I'm not trying to solve problems here. I'm just trying to say if this happened instead of this. Yeah. So if we yeah, said thinking, ahoy instead of hello. What am I thinking? You could say okay. a kind of instead of excuse me when you say it. should be socially acceptable. If you bring out my weight, I can hit you with a chair. CJ's on this. You've uh. <laughs> he's on this path and you're not getting him off it. I'm you now I've seen this I've seen this look and it is a determined look. It is a look of uh unrivaled uh hunger, hunger. <laughs> <laughs> for just I've got I've, fat. I've got another one give me hit me oh I've got one. Oh, go when someone walks ba- past instead of smiling like you have to close your eyes <laughs> <laughs> so every time so, you have to close your eyes if, if, so, everyone's no, like walking you into can't things look. so, so when, you, when you're like, in the shopping centre you avoid- you'd be walking around with your eyes closed the whole day like if they come close to you, you know how much you, stuff you're gonna run into. It's like you have to. It's like a sign of respect. You, you close your eyes, let them pass, <laughs> and then you can continue. So you should have stopped. So the two people, <laughs> they they're walking towards each other. They both stop and close their eyes. At what point do they open them? Okay, you don't have to stop. You just close your eyes. <laughs> but I want carry on walking. <laughs> at, at, at a certain point, you're gonna run into a wall. <laughs> I've got it. I've got one thing I'd want to do. All right. If you Let's have to fart. You'd normally have to leave the room, right? Mm. Everyone else has to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm farting. You put your hand up. I'm farting. Everyone leave. <laughs> you don't even have like to that. announce everyone leave. They just know they have to leave. <laughs> you just you slowly put your hands up. <laughs> and they're like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I was about to send it. A- no. Nope. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's take, oh, this, oh, one. You just let's take this one a bit deeper. You let it rip and you go, it was me. <laughs> What's the signal? <laughs> how, how are you letting people know that you're about to fart? Like this. It took me so long to think about that. Now I've got to think about the signal. No, it's this. It's <laughs> What's that? He, 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 he did like a countdown. Emma, Ten, just for, for nine, listeners, Emma's doing eight, the sort of the mind seven. blown thing. Oh, just, yeah. just hands together. <laughs> but blown. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. I think the world would be totally different if Ahoy was the... Yeah, Ahoy is like happy. Oh, Ahoy. what if we just all signed to each other and didn't talk? What? Just signed. That's a that's a boring Bodies podcast. Are... I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, no, no. This you is would it. never see no, me. No, you or sign me. to people you or don't know, know. You only talk to people you know. Ooh. Why your would f- I even look at people I don't know? Your friends and family. You can because because you you're a social butterfly, verbal, as you said. Verbal communication, so- <laughs> but to people you don't know, so strangers and acquaintances. Until that acquaintance becomes a friend, it's all sign. I think it should be the other way yes. around. Oh. I say, what's the uh, what's the measure here? Like uh, that would make <laughs> being a friend a far more explicit thing. Like where, yes, where, at what point does right. someone cross over the threshold? When it's comfortable in your in your gut. In your gut. So yeah. what? So you, you'll be signing uh, to someone. On. Like your entire relationship <laughs> is you've been signing, and then one day you'll say a word, and and that's like there. <gasps> it's like blossom. Oh, I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. Yes. Yes. I'm a yes. friend. I love this but one. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be like, I love you? But hang on a sec. I've got a question for you. How about if you're signing and then you start speaking and the person replies in a sign? That's like... Sign oh, language. Oh, that's a bit of a rejection. Break your heart. That's, that's, As I said, it, it's, it's, like, it's like saying to a girl, I love you. And she says, okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of stitched up. You put yourself well, out there. Well, then you just go back get to ruined. signing and, and, and never see that person. I say, yeah, oh, would that was you go mistake. back to signing? Or? Yeah. Yeah, you would. Or would you play? Or would you, you play it out and talk to them? I'd no, see. I think I'd talk to them and make them feel like. And you would. Um, I'd be like, "Oh, you're you're still signing to me. That's really interesting." And then just have a conversation with them, with them signing back. <laughs> oh no, I'd say painstakingly obvious. <laughs> I'd say, "Oh, the, the, that'll create another social anxiety." No, I'd go, "Oh, sorry, I thought I was talking to Gary," <laughs> and then pretend that you thought you were talking to someone else. You do. <laughs> Good God, I love Gary. Um, huh? Ahoy! So I, I was thinking um, prayer. 
So you know, at the moment for prayer, like the typical prayer is down your knees, hands together, head nodded. I keep most of it. I can't do still that on be, my knees. It's still be down hurt. on your knees because I understand, you know, where it comes from and why this form of submission and stuff. So down your knees, you can still have your head bowed. <laughs> what? But instead of your hands being together clasped, wave your arms like you're flapping. Oh, like an angel. <laughs> but That'd then you hit the person next to you. <laughs> You'd hey, have you need to have more, more space, space social between, distancing. Between the pews. <laughs> yeah. I mean, between you could only fit about two or three people to a pew. It depends on who you sat next to. Mm. <laughs> Me with my long arms. <laughs> that, there goes one whole pew. Oh, that used to be the favourite part of church, can I say? Um, the waving of the arms. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I could fly. No, this was the... Can I tell you, this was my favourite part of church. Is okay. after you've got your, you've done communion and you go back to your, I was in the choir, so we were all robed up. You go back to your uh, choir area or sitting area and then you, you pull out the, the, the really thick cushion. Ours was red, really thick red cushions from underneath the pew in front and you, and you get to kneel on them and it was just so fun. Like, because sometimes we just talk whilst the hymns are still going on or whilst people are still doing communion. Like, oh yeah. Because so, no one can see you because you're like down low. <laughs> And how, that's how, how you know scary, church scary wasn't good. fun. <laughs> if that was the most fun part, kneeling on a red cushion. <laughs> I don't know. I was a kid. I just always used to love the kneeling on the cushion. I think it was like pulling the cushion out and then, you, oh, yeah, kneel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you'd do your prayer and then but it'd be over and then be a long time wait because everyone else is still yeah. doing communion because choir go first, right? I never knew what to think. Like, uh, like I just looked around during church and I saw people like praying and stuff. But I was like, "What are they actually doing? <laughs> what are they thinking about? Like, because I'm doing this and I'm not really like I'm saying words, but I'm not really thinking anything. And I'm yeah. looking around and there are people like same age as me. I'm going, that guy, I know that guy. I know he's not thinking about anything, yeah. but he looks very reverent. Concentrated. He looks very, very into what he's doing." I never understood. Hmm. You know, just, thinking... Isn't it just a cycle of that? Like, because yeah. you're an adult and you still don't know. So those people were probably the same as you as a kid, grew up to an adult and probably just did it like, I wonder what everyone else is thinking while well, we're down here. <laughs> but now they're adults and you're looking at them as a kid going, I wonder what they're thinking. And now you're an adult if you went to church. Kids will be looking at you going, I wonder what he's thinking. And you're sat there going, I wonder what everyone else is thinking. <laughs> Hmm. Mind blown. <laughs> CJ, what were you thinking about? I was looking at PS5 unboxings. Not on now when you were in. <laughs> in church, kneeling after communion. I hate this freaking wooden thing. It's so hard on my knees. Oh, you didn't have a cushion, did no, you not? No, we didn't have cushions. So when you were talking about cushions, I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, man. We yeah, were, maybe yeah, no we were cushions. in luxury, but... Our cushions were like this thick. Yeah. And they're like a, like a rectangle and fabric material. You pull it out and oh, you kneel luxury. on it. Luxury. Luxury. Some, some of them. Some of them were like the like crocheted, weren't they? Like, yeah, had, like, they were crocheted material. And stuff and... Yeah. And Actually, it wasn't that thick. Spooked. It was about that thick. But still, it was oh, nice wow. padding. Wow, wow, wow. Well, we did it the hard way. Yeah. Knees on wood, mate. They built us tough back in 1984. We 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 are all limping now because our knees are buggered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, ahoy! Boop. I think I'm gonna start using ahoy from now on. Okay. I, I like ahoy. Yeah. Ahoy is cool. I think that's our new intro. Ahoy! 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 ahoy. And then ahoy. to be to why so because we're staying true to the inventor of the word. All right. But I don't but know. No, no, the phone. Yeah. Not the word. Well, yeah, but the, the, the reason for the word is because of the phone. Mm. I thought the reason for the word was when they sailed on ships. No, it was in the ahoy reason... Travels, ahoy the reason travels hello, forever, doesn't it? The reason hello <laughs> exists is for the phone. I'm glad we understood what the article is about. <laughs> All this, we got to the end of the conversation and we still don't know what's happening. <laughs> Just like praying at church. <laughs> No one knows what's going on. <laughs> but do you know what? Ahoy! <laughs> Ahoy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Halfway yeah. through this yeah. article, we talk Yo-ho. about some dating show. 
<laughs> yeah, Dating show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have another article? No. That's it? Yeah, I think so. All I right. think that's plenty. Um, a- maybe everybody download Among Us because maybe next week we can play against each yes, other. Yes, please, please. Have you done your I research, your playing. parent research? Oh, I've started playing. I play now. What? what is it? When are we getting? Come on. When are we getting on? Oh, what Among, Among Us is probably the best phone game we've ever played because it's such a old school game. It's it's a it's basically Mafia. like a murder mystery Mafia. game. Did you get my updated email? It's based on Mafia, and I was like, "Oh yeah, Mafia." Is it an app? I don't know how you. Yes. Can you record your iPhone? Yeah. No. Yep. But, yeah. but if I record my, can't you get my recording off you guys? No, because we got to record your own your screen. Phone. Yeah. Like we can play this at any point during the week and just upload it. As a... Hold on. How do I record my phone? There's a record button. Do you button. have an iPhone? Do you have an iPhone? Yeah. Yes. What phone do you have? This one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What iOS do you have? Do you have, you have, can you, you know, like the, you swipe down in the top right corner. Do you have that iOS? Like, do you have this menu? I have this iOS. <laughs> yeah, so swipe down in the top right corner. And you'll see a menu like this. Oh, I think he has the, um, plus the red. The red button, the record button first. He has to go into no, settings. No, no. I'm, I'm, oh, what? Is it not? I thought it was in the na- natural. Nah, it's a add-on. Oh. Yeah. Because I, I, it didn't. It wasn't added on normally on the iPad. I had to put it on the iPad on that on that oh. thing. So Siege, if you come if you come next week, to here, I can set up your phone. Settings control center. Add it. Yeah. Screen recording. Okay. Where where is it? Settings Settings? control center. Control center. Because it only goes for five minutes, doesn't it? Nah. No, no, no. I've recorded long things on there. (laughs) No, the game. Oh, the game. It's as quick as the game. Like, depends how, how. good you are and not like as in uh, figuring out and all that kind of stuff and how good they are at killing you Mm. have you played it though no no i saw i saw a bit of youtube because i was trying to figure out how to record the bloody thing oh we gotta play i love it it's so much it's so much fun when you play with people you know because we played it um i clicked go on siege i clicked screen recording what's next so you've yeah. added it. You click the plus. Yes. So now if you swipe down in the top right corner of your phone to access the control center. Hold on. Where, 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 where do I swipe? Have top you right got, corner. Have you got screen recording on yours, Em? Oh, maybe not. Swipe, swipe up from the Show me. Bottom. Look at me. Is that where your control center no. is? Screen how do you access your... Yeah. yeah so there's a screen no, recording. I've done it in the past. I just can't remember how. Oh, that one there. Yeah, if you click it, it'll count down three, yeah. two, one, and then it'll start recording your screen. Okay, cool. What game is it? I'll download it now on the apps. Among, Among us. us. But yeah, we so at the end of my boot camp, our cohort, there was fourteen of us. We um a, a few dropped off, but then we played it. So we did yeah. it while we were on because we were on video call. Cool. So Control Center. We would um what we did is while we're playing like in the round. Video Sorry. off, yeah. Video off, mic off while we're playing in it, and then like when someone reports, and you have to have a discussion instead of having the discussion on the messenger and there, we would just turn our video and camera, our camera and mic on, and have the discussion live in person. Right. And but if if you were dead, you weren't allowed to speak. Yeah. Um, it made it so much more fun because you know each other as well. Yeah. So. If you're the imposter, you've got to lie like face to face like this. Yeah, is Emma's going to be horrible at being the imposter if we do that? But it, she, I think she'll use it to her advantage because sometimes Ooh. she tells the truth, but she looks like she's lying. 
Can I say with this is true. Um, this is very true. <laughs> yeah, my son's the same. But can I say with the game, I don't like being the imposter because it sends my heart rate through the roof, and I That's always get point, caught right? because they always see me. And then my best thing I like being is the crewmate. No one, know, then, no one knows what they're talking about. But wait, but then when they think it's me and they eject me and then I'm the ghost and I'm like, oh, now I can just complete my tasks. We have no problems. Can I just like completing the tasks? You, we have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. We have no idea what you're talking about. It's kind of similar how to unlike Grand Theft Auto, I like to stick to the rules and, and drive on yeah, the Yeah, I found that weird. Stop it. Stop, 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 it, stop so at the red weird. lights. And... I, I watched you play and I was like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I mean, what are you okay. doing? Why why is Emma playing Grand Theft Auto first place? That was on the um, phone. That, that was, that was on the phone, favorite. right? No, that, I, that oh. used to be one of my favorite games. Oh, okay. That's hilarious. So you Why play Grand Theft Auto and stick to the, the rules. rules. <laughs> I don't want to be <laughs> chased by police, so I'd like stop at the traffic They don't even chase and... you for going through oh, a yes, red light do. in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> oh, if no, you do too that's... many bad, naughty things, that's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Naughty things. <laughs> no, that was the game Driver. In the game Driver, if you went through a red light and they were near police, they'd chase you. Mm. That I don't was know a that tough game. game. We used to have that. When you were in that, that was like one of the first video games we had in the house. Oh. Grand Theft Auto. Is that the one from the top view? Kind of, That's the top yeah. view one? Yeah. yeah. A, the original was the top view. Yeah. And then yeah. as they came onto consoles, they became like. Third I think person. I stopped playing Grand Theft yeah, Auto first. when yeah. I only remember the top view. <laughs> so yeah, I don't remember being was... inside. No, like they. Oh, so you would like follow behind them. Now. You follow behind them. Yeah, they got. Oh. They're. They're, oh, this my f- the reason I would get a console is if they release a new Grand Theft Auto. Mm. I think they have been. I, I still see them. ads for GTA. Mm. No, they just do online. Yeah, they just release a new one. They they haven't released a new one for like four, five, maybe six years or something. Huh. Longer. Yeah, they come out very rarely. Mm. Now they just add downloadable yeah, the, content the, the, or the, online games and stuff the, to the existing game. The, but from what I heard, they they're working on one. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that for a few years. So have you downloaded <laughs> Among Us yet? No, well, I will. I will download okay. Among Us. So um, I guess watch out for on our YouTube channel for Among Us. We will be uploading uploading Among Us a game once a month. And you know maybe? what? You can, once you a week, can have up know. to ten. You can have up to ten people, and there's only five of us. So anyone want to join? And let us know. I don't like ten people. Mm. We're gonna have a few no, guests. We're gonna have a few guests on just to play Among Us. Yeah. No, nah, no guests. <laughs> CJ, the worst. The w- <laughs> nope, no one's allowed. I hate people. You guys suck. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a game now. <laughs> yeah, um, I might as well. Well, that is another episode <laughs> of the B Side Word. Thank you again and ahoy, Emma. Aha. Uh-huh. Oh no, what's our goodbye? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh? All right, ready? We'll say it like this. And that's another episode of the B-Side Word. I'm Devin, and that's... uh, Ah. 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 Staying alive. Stay alive. Oh, my God. The worst. Aloha. (laughs) Oh, dad Uh, jokes. uh, (laughs) All right, let's do another one. And that's another episode of the B-Side Word for this week. Thank you for joining us. I'm Devin. Oh, um, um, intro again. I'm Emma. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Why was your I'm Devin so aggressive? Because <laughs> it's pumped. I'm pumped. I'm Devin. I'm pumped. It was almost like you were. I soldier. am Devin. I'm I can't Devin. wait. I can't wait to play Among Us. You've hyped me up for Among Us. Among Us. I'm not Among sure. Us. What is this Among stupid us. game? Among Us. Among Us. I'm Can ready. I play this game while I'm playing playing um quad? No, you're gonna play it at our house, so you're gonna come over. So I gotta make sure. Why? Because I have to. Why do you have to argue every single time? Just come <laughs> over. And why does he have to come here? Because I I want to see. I, don't want, you. I want to see if he's gonna <laughs> record. God, <laughs> so much resistance. <laughs> <laughs> Dev, why is, why does he have to go to yours? <laughs> Trying to be on your side, CJ, to say, do you have to go? And, and you made it sound like you just don't want me to be there. <laughs> Why does he have to come? Oh my god, not him. <laughs>
Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, man. Why? <laughs> you actually sound like that. Yeah. It was more in like it was being curious, but also being sort of judgmental. It was sort of like, uh, wh- why does he have to come over? Why? <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you again. Bye. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye.